the Defence Research and Development Organisation (DRDO) has stemmed out from the vision of India's first Prime Minister Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru to develop an independent research organisation for Indian defence requirements. Over years, with the leadership of eminent scientists like Dr. Kothari, Professor Menon, Dr. Raja Ramanna, Dr. Kalam, DRDO has been striving hard to fulfil the needs of the armed forces. The aggressive efforts of DRDO in the recent past has brought in a quantum jump in the technologies of missiles, radars, electronic warfare, naval systems, armament and life sciences elevating India on par with the advanced nations of the world. Prithvi, the medium-range surface-to-surface ballistic missile, Dhanush, ship-launched medium-range ballistic missile, have given the country a much-needed strategic deterrence capability. The long-range strategic missiles of Agni 1, 2, 3 and 4 have given the needed muscle strength to the nation with a strike range of 300 kilometers to 4,000 kilometers. The successful testing of Agni 5, the 5,000 kilometers long range surface to surface ballistic missile in 2012, has rocketed India into the select club of countries possessing such capability. successful launch of Agni-5 missile is a tribute to the sophistications and commitment to national causes on the part of India's scientific and technological community. An Indo-Russian joint venture, BrahMos, the world's first supersonic cruise missile which can be launched from land and sea, has been successfully inducted into the Indian Armed Forces. Akash, the highly agile anti-aircraft surface-to-air missile with multi-target engagement capability, has been inducted into the Indian Armed Forces. Air Defence Programme, an effective shield against the incoming theatre ballistic missiles from enemy territories, has successfully demonstrated the interception capabilities at low and high altitudes, making India the fourth nation in the world to have such technologies. The system is now ready for deployment to protect the Indian strategic locations and cities. Third generation fire and forget anti-tank missile NAG is undergoing final evaluation trials and will be inducted soon. Astra, a beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile enables fighter pilots to lock on and shoot down enemy aircraft from a distance of more than 80 kilometers, was successfully tested and will be integrated on Sukhoi 30 and Tejas aircraft. Very recently, on 27 January 2013, underwater missile B-05 was test-fired from a specially made platform. With this, India has attained the capability of developing submarine-launched missiles. DRDO's contribution in India's prestigious first nuclear submarine, INS Arihant, has propelled the nation into an elite club of six most technologically advanced countries of the world. Lightweight torpedoes, advanced sonar system Panchendriya, hull-mounted advanced sonar Hamsa have been operationalized. Extensive sea trials of the torpedo Barunastra have been carried out. Initial operational clearance was accorded to light combat aircraft Tejas, which is flying towards meeting its commitment to the final clearance with completion of over 1,750 hours of flight. Airborne Early Warning and Control System with number of mission-related indigenous systems on board is undergoing final airborne evaluation trials. Many successful test flights of unmanned aerial vehicle Rustam-1 were completed demonstrating a number of key technologies. Netra, the mini unmanned aerial vehicle, is being used by the Indian paramilitary forces for aerial surveillance.
110 Arjun tanks have been inducted into the operational commands of Indian Army, making India one of the few countries to have its own indigenous main battle tank. To meet the operational requirements of three services in the area of electronics, a number of radars like weapon locating radar, lightweight surveillance and target acquisition radar, low-level lightweight 3D radar have been successfully developed and trial evaluated. In the electronic warfare, the completion of Divya Drishti program with cluster integration of over 20 static and mobile stations was a major landmark. The development and demonstration of cathode and electron guns for multi-beam Klystron and the successful demonstration of 100 watt peak power laser diode array are the stepping stones in harvesting microwave power for defense applications. DRDO has made good industrial base in the country with more than 3000 industries working for defense. Also working with over 100 academic institutions for seeding basic and applied research required for future programs. Centers of Excellence has been set up in key areas and four research boards in the field of Aero, Armament, Naval Research and Life Science are utilized to invite research proposals from academic experts in areas of technical relevance to DRDO. While DRDO has been able to make significant contributions in weapon system development, the man behind the machine has not been forgotten either. DRDO has realized many products required for human protection and nature protection. Bulletproof jackets, breathing systems, farming in high altitude areas, dengue, chikungunya, multi-insect repellent kit, food poison detection kit have been put to use. In the field of nuclear, biological and chemical technologies, a large number of DRDO systems including recce vehicles, dosimeters are in use. Solar-powered modular green shelters, biodigester for human waste management in oxygen enrichment has been developed and handed over to the army. The biodigesters have been integrated in railway coaches and about 12,000 units are being commissioned in the Lakshadweep. DRDO has developed many social products as spin-offs. Lightweight caliper developed by DRDO has greatly benefited over 30,000 polio-affected children. 200 units of critical care ventilators have been installed at various hospitals. Spearheading the defense of the nation, leveraging ideas and innovation to strengthen India's security. This is DRDO for the Indian Defence Services for every Indian and for India. Jai Hind!